Hey everyone, Tori here. Welcome to another episode of People Ask. And today I'll be answering the question about commissions. How are commissions paid as, you know, to insurance agents? So let's dive into it. Depending on, you know, how your contract works, there are a couple ways that you may get paid your commission. Okay. The common way is monthly. So as an insurance agent, you usually get paid monthly because when customers are paying for their policies, they are charged on a monthly basis. So most companies found it easier to pay their agents on a monthly basis. That way, if they have to charge back, which we'll talk about later, um, to your account, then they take out the entire amount. So what does it mean to get paid monthly? So let's say this is the month of June and you sold 20 policies and from those 20 policies let's say you made two thousand dollars it means that your pay will be reflected in july so it's almost like a month behind right so anything that you've earned in june will be paid in july anything that's earned in july will be paid in august and so forth so your entire 2000 that you earned in June will be paid in, uh, in July. And then if for whatever reason, let's say like in August, that uh, the insurance company finds out that the policy that you wrote, the insurer canceled it, then they will charge back in August, basically take the money back because you did not earn that income for that month, right? Because they don't wanna pay you for a policy that's been canceled. So it's very important that you understand how you're getting paid. So regardless whether you're a captive agent or you are um, an independent agent, monthly pay to your income is the most common way for the, for the insurance companies to pay you commission. Okay, so now let's take a look at another way this whole thing works. So when you're writing policies, let's say like auto, especially auto, auto policies, they, you have two ways of billing that customer, right? So you can make that policy term be billed every, um, every six months, or that term could be 12 months. Here's the thing. If it's a 12 month term policy for auto, and you are a captive agent, working under somebody else's agency who is like let's say your mentor you will find out that you will only get paid for that six months at renewal which is the remainder of the six months of the year your mentor could end up owning that book of business and the entire commission Yes, don't freak out, it's common practice, it's not illegal, but that does happen because you're working under somebody else's agency. But let's say you have your own storefront agency, your own office, you are not, you don't have a mentor on, and you have a policy that's six months, you will get paid the commission for the entire six months, the first six months, and then the subsequent six months of that policy which means the entire 12 months this usually happens when the mentor agent is afraid that if they pay for the entire 12 months and the client ends up canceling the policy and they get charged back to their account they'll have difficulty charging back to you if it makes sense so think of it this way if you write the policy for 12 months versus six months they pay you for the entire 12 months, but somehow midway, the client end up saying, well, I found a, a better deal with another company. I'm going to cancel my policy. It means everybody who got paid, they need to pay back money to the insurance company. So if you're working with a mentor, it gets a little bit messy. So most mentors will prefer that you only write for six months just to be on the safe side, right? But like I said, again, if you're working with a mentor, that book of business is definitely not yours because everything is being written under their agency number. 
Now, if you are an independent agent, anything you write belongs to you because it goes against your agent, um, your agent number or agency number, whether it's six months, whether it's 12 months, it doesn't matter. You get paid the full amount. And if the customer cancels the policy, they will charge back to you directly to for the, whatever difference um, or for however long they have canceled of that policy or however long they've had that policy for. So just make sure that you are very knowledgeable of what is expected as far as commissions. Now, different per commission percentages apply to different companies, right? So again, I can't give you um, a straight up number just because every company is very different, right? So just make sure you read your contract carefully because just because the customer's, let's say 12 months premium is $2,000, it does not mean you have made $2,000, no. Because your percentage of commission could range anywhere from 5% to 50% depending on what type of policy you're writing. You know, for auto and home, the commissions are lower. For life and health, the commissions are a little bit higher just because those are like a little bit more difficult to sell. But when you sell it, they usually don't terminate easily. So they do pay a little bit more. Um, so I hope everything that I've just shared um, will help you kind of get knowledgeable as far as how commissions are paid. Like I said, just to recap, they're paid usually monthly and they will pay based on the term of that policy, whether six months or 12 months. I hope you find this helpful. Check the description below for some links, resources that can help you to stay on top of your business and make money. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and smash the like button so that you can get notified every time we upload new videos. Bye.